Hi, this is Sri Kumar Pai. In this video, we are going to talk about CC, Competent Communication Manual. This is the manual used by Toastmasters when they joined Toastmasters Club earlier. This manual consists of 10 basic projects which can give you a basic idea about the public speaking skills. It starts with the icebreaker, then it talks about how to organize your speech, how to give your body language, how will you use your vocal variety, how will you persuade others, etc. All of these 10 projects are explained in this particular video. So without wasting much time, let us start. This is very useful for the members who join Gavel Clubs because they'll be starting the speeches from this particular CC manual. Okay, welcome to the education session about CC project manual. When you join a Gavel Club, you get two manuals. One is called CC manual, and the other one is called CL manual. CC manual is the manual you will be using to give your project speeches. You can see the picture here. Left side, you can see the picture, which shows the CC manual. So this manual we have to use to give your project speeches. As a Gavalier, in addition to various roles you take, you have to give speeches, is it not? So many of the time you have doubt, which speech should I give? From where I will get the details? All details are available in the CC manual. This CC manual contains 10 speeches, 10 project speeches. The first speech is called icebreaker. In that you will be speaking about yourself. The second is organize your speech. That means you'll be talking about opening body and conclusion. Third, get to the point. I will come to this a little later. How to say it? That means usage of words. Your body speaks. That means you are talking about body language. Vocal variety. How will you use your voice? Seventh, research your topic. And how will you, from where you'll get the data for your speech? Eighth is get comfortable with visual aids. Many of the time you have to use the visual aids like PowerPoint, etc. How to use those things will be discussed here. Ninth, persuade with power. Okay, how you can persuade others. And the last word is inspire your audience motivation. So these are the 10 project speeches you have to deliver from the CC manual. So let us go a little deep into it. Once you finish all these 10 project speeches, you will get the certificate of completion from Toastmasters International. So whenever you finish one project, you have to keep the record. As I mentioned, everyone has to keep a notebook and there you have to write down which is the speech you gave, which day, what was the topic, who was the evaluator, all the details you have to mention there in the book so that you can use it later. Okay, so let us go one by one. So all the new members will give icebreaker. They will start with their icebreaker. That means to introduce yourself. For your first speech project, you will introduce yourself to the fellow members and give them and give them some information about your background, interests, and ambitions. You may use notes during your speech if you wish. You have to read the entire project before preparing your talk. So your first speech is icebreaker. You have to read that manual, 
that icebreaker speech full and based on that you have to prepare your speech the time is 4 to 6 minutes so what are the objectives to begin speaking before an audience this is the first time you are speaking in front of an audience to discover speaking skills you already have and skill that needs some attention so we the skills you have and what are the skills need to be improved from your first icebreaker speeches then the third one is to introduce yourself to your fellow club members so the club members will come to know about you more so that is the first icebreaker speech so very easy because you have to speak about yourself we'll go to the second one now to organize your speech to organize your speech good speech organization is essential if your audience is to understand your presentation you must take the time to put your ideas together in a orderly manner the opening should catch the audience attention the body must support the idea you want to convey and the conclusion should reinforce your ideas and be memorable use transition between thoughts in a smooth manner and the time allotted is 5 to 7 minutes so first project speech you have 4 to 6 minute and second to ninth project speech you have 5 to 7 minutes so what are the objectives of your project number 2 Prepare a speech which allows the listeners to easily follow and understand your speech. Create a strong opening body and a conclusion. Use appropriate transition when moving from one point to another. When you are speaking to somebody, when you are speaking to one point, don't jump it to the second point fast. Make a small transition and move. Okay. So these are the three points in the you have to remember when you give the project number two. now we come to the project number 3 get to the point inform entertain and inspire every speech must have a general and a specific purpose whichever project you give there is a general and a specific purpose a general purpose is to inform to persuade to entertain or inspire so whichever subject you take and give a speech it should be either to inform to persuade to entertain or to inspire inform means you want to give some information about something aniket was talking about the sports he was giving informing about various different type of sports today persuade you are persuading by listening your speech the listener have to some action for example smoking is injurious to health so by listening to your speech the audience should come to a decision that yeah no smoking in the individual we will not promote smoking okay maybe sometime you want to entertain just want to share some humorous incidents you can do that sometime you want to inspire you want to share some biography of apj abdul kalam abraham lincoln mahatma gandhi etc and you want to inspire others so usually these are one of the your the purpose of your speech will be one of this inspire it to inform inspire entertain or persuade okay the specific purpose is what you want the audience to do after listening to your speech so what action they should take after listening to your speech that also should think before you persuading a speech okay for example smoking is injurious to if you are giving that speech you expect from the audience that no one should promote smoking okay once you have established your general and specific purpose you will find it easy to organize your speech you will also have more confidence which makes you more convincing enthusiastic and silent so the third project speech is 5 to 7 minutes what are the objectives of the third project speech what is 
select a speech topic and determine its general and specific purpose. General purpose. So, what is the message you want to convey to the audience? You want to inform something, persuade something, inform, persuade, inspire, or entertain. So, you have to select that one first. And what is the specific purpose? Whether what action the audience should take. That also you have to finalize. Organize the speech with opening body and conclusion. Every speech should have an opening, proper opening body and conclusion. Okay. When the opening should catch the attention of the audience, maybe you can show a picture. Suppose you are talking about Abraham Lincoln, you can show the picture of Abraham Lincoln and you can ask how many of you can identify this person. If you want to speak about mobile, you can show a mobile. Like that, you can get a good opening, attention of the audience. Then you should have a body. What do you mean? The content of your speech. You have to collect maximum detail about your topic and include in the body. And conclusion is the overall conclusion of your speech. You have to control any nervousness. Do not use any notes. So this is the third. Get to the point. Fourth speech is how to say it. That is usage of words. Okay. How, what are the points you should remember when you prepare a speech, how to use the words that you will be learning from this project. Words convey your message and influence the audience. Select clear, accurate, descriptive and short words that best communicate your ideas and arrange them effectively and correctly. Correct, correctly. Every word should add value, meaning and punch to the speech. And the time is four to seven minutes. Objectives are select right words and sentence structure to communicate your ideas clearly, accurately. Eliminate jargon and unnecessary words. Jargon means confusing words. Use correct grammar. So fourth project speech is, speech is about using words. So you have to read that pro complete project and you prepare a speech such a way that you use the simple words, etc. Your body speaks. In this particular project, you will be learning about your usage of body language. How will you use your stage? How will you use your hand gestures? How will you use your facial expression, eye contact, etc. All the things you will be learning from project number five. Your body speaks. Body language is an important part of speaking because it enhances your message and gives you more credibility. It also helps release any nervousness you may have. feel. Stance, that means standing position, movement, gestures, facial expressions, and eye contact help communicate your message and achieve your speech purpose. Body language should be smooth, natural, and convey the same message that your listener, listeners hear. So again, five to seven minutes. So if you, you use your hand gestures, body language, etc., properly, it should be natural. What are the objectives? Use standing position, movement, gestures, facial expression, eye, eye contact to express your message and achieve your speech purpose. Make your body language smooth and natural. Focus on methods of delivery, but not Overlook speech content. You have, can, you have to concentrate using the your body language to deliver the speech within the content. The whatever content you want to convey, the same content has to use using the delivery. When you are involved in the delivery, sometimes you may forget content. That should not happen. Six is vocal variety. How will you use your voice to convey your messages? Your voice has a major effect on your audience. A lively, excited voice attracts and keeps listeners' attention. The speaking voice should be pleasant, natural, forceful, expressive, and easily heard. Use volume, pitch, rate, and quality, as well as appropriate pauses to reflect and add meaning and interest to your message. Your voice should be reflect the thoughts of your presentation. Okay, we'll have more education session about the vocal variety, body language, etc. You'll learn more about that. 
Okay, so the objectives are use volume, pitch, rate, and quality as well as appropriate pauses to reflect and add meaning. Okay, we'll discuss more thing about this volume, pitch, etc. in our education session about vocal variety. Use pauses to enhance your speech. Okay, you have to use pauses in between when you deliver. Use vocal variety smoothly and naturally. It should be natural. Okay. When you want to, when you are angry, raise your voice. When you want to say sad, you convey some sad news, lower your voice. Like that, you have to use your vocal variety to convey your message. Seven, project number seven. Research your topic. How will you collect the data for your projects? From where you will get it? These are the things you discuss in this particular project. Your speech will be more effective if you can support your main points with statistics. testimony testimony is the opinion of uh, experts stories anecdote anecdote is uh, humorous incidences examples visual aids and facts you can find this material on internet at a library and in other places use information collected from numerous sources and carefully support points with specific facts examples and illustration rather than just your own opinion suppose you are speaking about you want to speak about a uh, uh, accident you have to give some data details about the accident how many accidents are taking place per hour per minute per second okay so you have to include some data wherever photos okay so you have to include opinion about the experts all the things you have to include in your speech objectives collect information about your topic from numerous sources carefully support your points and opinion with specific facts examples and illustrations gathered through research for it get comfortable with visual aids that mean many of the time you will be using your presentation maybe powerpoint presentation so what are the point you should remember when you give a powerpoint presentation and based on that only you have to prepare a speech and they give a powerpoint presentation speech okay so what are the point you should remember okay your visual aids help an audience understand and remember what they hear the most popular visual aids are powerpoints flip charts whiteboards and props props mean the object itself for example if you want to speak about mobile show the mobile okay the type of visual aid you choose depends on several factors including the information you wish to display and the size of the audience visuals must be appropriate for your message and the audience and be displayed correctly with ease and confidence again time 5 to 7 minutes objectives are select visual aids that are appropriate for your message and audience use visual aids correctly with ease and confidence project number 9 persuade with power that means how you can persuade others the ability to persuade that is to get other people to understand accept and act upon your ideas is a valuable skill your listeners will be more likely to be persuaded if they perceive you are a credible if you use logic and emotion in your speech if you carefully structure your speech and if you appeal to their interest avoid using notes because they may cause listeners to doubt your sincerity knowledge and conviction again 5 to 7 minutes persuade listeners to adopt your viewpoint or ideas to take a some action okay you can i told you if you want to uh, talk about uh, how to smoking is injurious to health you know you can you want to persuade the people so those type of things you can select in this particular project use appealing to the audience interest use logic and emotion to support your position avoid using notes the last project tenth project which inspire your audience here most of the time you can use some biography of some be important people an inspirational speech motivates an audience to improve personal personally emotionally professionally or spiritually it brings the audience together in a mood of fellowship and shared desire builds the audience enthusiasm then proposes a change or plan and appeal to the audience to adopt this change or plan this speech will last longer than your previous talks so your last 10 project speech will be 8 to 10 minutes 
that will be inspiring others by listening your speech you they have to be inspired okay so best thing, uh, example is taking talking about the important people like uh, apj abdul kalam etc objectives are inspire the audience appeal to the audience needs and emotion using stories anecdotes quotes etc how are you using notes so these are the 10 project speaks involved in a included in a cc manual so once you complete this 10 project speeches you will get a certificate we'll get a certificate from toastmasters international 